How's it going everyone, Sephir here, and welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy video. Today is going to be day 62 in the Ultimate Guide series, and we have a lot of cool information, including some new update to island plans, and on top of that, we have a lot of weekly resets coming in with more free Dark Crystals, believe it or not. So we have a bunch of goodies in store for you, so first, let's talk about those new island plans. The new island plans are going to be based off of some information that we're seeing walking around, where the monsters are going to start respawning on Mondays solely so instead of like respawning on that periodic gap uh, we're, we're basically assuming that they're not going to give us the extra boost of materials for all three of the two to three of the spawns that we normally get so I'm going to assume that we might be getting less materials in the future so because of that we are aborting the mission we are stopping to emergency change our plans and we are going to get everything to level nine <laughs> that's the original strategy uh, that we had out but we're going to go back to that one we were supposed to get to level 9 and start creating matrices, but with this new information, it's probably better to just go ahead and level them even across the board. Don't worry if you did create a few matrices somehow already, I'm not sure how you did that, uh, but if you did, then it's okay, you're going to be creating matrices anyways in the long term. Just start focusing on leveling up your houses across the board so that you'll have enough materials to cover your expenditures as we go into that Vera 2.0, and if the those changes do go the way that they're looking like uh, then we might have to just go ahead and make sure we have everything level 9. So that's going to be the first bit of information. I feel it was really important so I wanted to get that out there. I will be changing my strategy for that uh, so just keep that in mind. The next thing that we have to talk about is Vera Orienteering. It is on its final day. You will have a little bit left to claim all the items within the shop, so make sure you're doing that. You bought everything important, and if you want to keep on top of your elemental or shard boxes, you can definitely do that as well. You should also have 100 free dark crystals from the 100% energy cell count, so that's going to be good. Make sure to go ahead and collect that, as we are getting ever so closer to the Vera launch day, and we are also getting closer to new events, because when this one goes away well usually there's a vent running pretty much all the time so we could probably expect to see one of those pretty soon on top of that, go ahead and check your mail, because if you do, you might have a few dark crystals in there for the maintenance compensation. That's right, 200 of them, so you can go ahead and collect and claim that. You'll also receive your ranking from the Bygone Phantasm, and we'll get into that here in just a second. But the most important thing is that everything for the week has been reset, so keep in mind that's going to come with your battle pass and all of those goodies, because these are going to be a lot of important things that you're going to need to have during the future. And I will give you a little bit of a pre-warning here, okay? A little bit of a pre-warning. We are going to be holding our battle pass next week. Not starting this week, but next week. Because there is a new battle pass in the Vera uh, sort of environment, which gives you some better materials and items. So what we're going to do starting on Monday, which is going to be the 17th, we are not going to claim our battle pass stuff in the hopes that it's going to carry over. We're going to be able to redeem within that same week that Vera launches on the 20th of October. So hopefully we can get those new Battle Pass rewards instead of the old ones. It's a bit of a gamble. I'm still thinking on it, but that might be the direction we're going. So just a little bit of a heads up there. So once you have this Battle Pass uncovered, you should get more gold cipher keys, which is going to be important. And then we're going to have to start to talk about the weekly stuff and the big one first, which is going to be the Bygone Phantasm. The ladder has concluded. Hopefully you got a good play placement here. It seems like I got rank one, so that was really good. I beat out somebody who was like 20 floors higher than me just due to my sequential phantasm ranking, so that was really good to see. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and collect those rewards. A lot of modules, a lot of advanced modules and dust, so all of these things. Very, very, very important. And go ahead and take a look at your bracket. This week, my bracket looks pretty simple, actually. Um, the person who's closest to me would be a 330, this guy. So that probably wouldn't be too difficult to beat. So I think I'm looking pretty good. I might get a rank one again. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, how's your bracket looking? What place do you think you're going to get this week? And let's go ahead and start talking about Sequential Phantasm, because that's going to be very important for the bracket placement. So we have the Fighting Spirit Frozen Anomaly this week. So that's going to be 75% increased frost damage with just the straight up mission of killing 
killing things. The more things you kill, the better score you're going to get. So I like this one. It's very clear cut and simple. And then we have Barrage. Adhesive Awareness. This is going to be the physical damage boost for the dodge mechanic. You know, all those turrets shooting these little balls at you. This one can be rough. I do have a strong Shiro, so hopefully I'll be okay with that. And those of you that have Claudia will definitely be doing really well on this one. So that'll be a fun one to do. And we have the return of Survival Long Night with the Flame and Volt damage increase, or um, they can only receive Flame and Volt damage. So this is gonna be another one where you're just gonna have to survive with Nemesis and Zero, probably run around in a circle and just live until the end uh, that one's always interesting but we can get some high points on that so it's okay so overall looking pretty decent for the bygone phantasm next let's go ahead and talk about crews the crews have been reset on their missions as well as the reward box which you should have got so there should be a reward box here you can claim it on the reward section and I did receive it I'm gonna go ahead and open this it's gonna be dark crystals or gold I've gotten gold three times in a row I'm getting so angry so here's the deal if it is dark crystals you have to subscribe if you're already subscribed you have to tell a friend to subscribe so that's gonna be what it is if it's gold absolutely nothing happens because that's misery enough all right let's see what it is and the box is gold all right well this is my fourth week in a row this is kind of painful guys I'm not gonna lie to you this is really painful so hopefully you had a little bit better luck than me and you didn't also get gold in your box again for the fourth week <sighs> sad times anyways moving on to more important things we also have some other stuff available today is going to be a new void rift so go ahead and check that out you should have an additional charge attempt and then moving on to the more important things we will have raid the raid has been fully reset that is 4500 gold dust that is available for you to claim which is going to be absolutely fantastic so make sure to check that out because you will be getting quite a lot of goodies for clearing all your raids here and in addition to that, you're going to receive a lot of clusters for experience on weapons, and I know people are definitely hurting for those. Uh, oh, sorry, armor, not weapons, uh, so make sure to make use of that as well. Now that we have that covered, let's talk about the island shop. The island shop has also been reset, which is directly behind me. So you will be able to get more clusters, more weapon batteries, the weapon materials, and the SR relic shards. So there's going to be a lot of goodies here. So make sure to budget your expenditures appropriately with upgrading your gear so that you can afford all your stuff by the end of the week. So just keep an eye out for that. Speaking of shops, let's talk about the commissary because that has also been reset. And here you will see we get advancement modules which are going to be very 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 nice for upgrading your gear so go ahead and purchase those for the week as well as the booster modules should be 40 in total so that's going to be some nice ability stuff to power up your gear and your combat score which is definitely going to help and then go ahead and check out the crew section we have two different ssr shards confinement and drone this week drone is not bad i'm kind of considering buying a few shards just to complete my collection so i can get the achievement because some people are passing me up on the achievement achievement boards due to not having that so we'll see how it is but uh, there are some okay shards in there and these are not bad then we have the support store you will be able to buy your support uh, joint supply chips as normal so go ahead and pick those up if you can as well as your black nucleus because those are going to be very nice get a little extra pools you never know what you can get i mean i tend to get some ssrs occasionally here and there from the black nucleus so it's not too shabby hopefully you guys have some good luck let me know actually what's your black nucleus count like when how many black nucleus have you pulled since the last time you got an ssr go ahead and let me know in the comments down below now that we have that covered, let's talk about Claire's Dream Machine. Oh my gosh, I got kind of lucky, but not lucky this week. I got one set of matrices, like the gold ticket, and then I got a set of nucleus as well. But then I had five relic shard Claire Dream Machines. So I actually got 80 relic shards, which was pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. So that's quite a lot, it powered up my collection. I've actually have a lot of relics at this point. I did manage to get Magnetic Storm though, which was unfortunate. So a lot of that converted to gold. And yes, when you have max of a relic, it will the shards will just convert into gold. You really don't get much for it. It's like, I think 100 gold per shard. Uh, so it's kind of sad times there, but I'm able to upgrade several relics as you can see. Uh, so that was definitely a pleasant surprise to get so many relic shards in my Claire Stream Machines. Yes, they're not advancement modules, but hey, I'll take it. It's something a little bit better than those pesky gearboxes, you know what I'm saying? 
Okay, finally, to wrap up the video, we have information on the art contest. I did post that out. It has been concluded by the time this video has been released. So I will be picking 10 winners and handing out Tower of Fantasy in-game codes to those winners. And I will also feature their art in the next video. So be, forward to, uh, be sure to look forward to that. And then we also have the Twitch live stream, which will be tonight at 5.30 p.m. EST. I'm going to be giving away Gold Nucleus and SR Relic Shard box codes. So make sure to stop by your the stream for your chance to win the giveaway okay that's going to be it for this one make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell if you found this information useful and we will see you in the next video